Number 31. Suppose a star 1,000 times brighter than our sun, that is, emitting 1,000 times the power, suddenly goes supernova. Using data from table 7.3, letter A, by what factor does the power output increase? All right, so here's the data on the right-hand side, and the numerical values here are in terms of watts. All right, so we're basically trying to, uh, first thing is, right, we're trying to find by what factor does its power output increase? Well, they're talking about a sun, right, is, uh, that is a thousand times brighter than ours, meaning that it has a thousand times more, the p more power, right? So our sun has, uh, produces a power of about four times 10 to the 26 watts, okay? So first thing is, let's take the four times 10 to the 26, that's in terms of watts, and multiply that by 1,000, okay? This would then give us the wattage of a star that is a thousand times brighter, okay? So this simply becomes four times now 10 to the 29th, okay? And that's in terms of watts. So this is now the uh, power uh, produced by a sun that is a thousand times brighter than our sun. So now we can find the factor, right, that the power output increases if it goes supernova. So uh, the right wattage of a supernova is five times 10 to the 37. So let's write that down. So five times 10 to the 37, oops, to the 37 watts. Okay, and we wanna find out how much it increases when the, uh, when the sun itself, right, has a wattage of four times 10 to the 29. So basically we do a simple division here. Okay, this would be four times 10 now to the 29 watts, 29 watts on the bottom. All right, you can think of it basically similar to this. Let's say your um, favorite pair of shoes, right, costs $100, and all of a sudden it went up to $120, right? We can then ask the question, well, by what factor did it, by what factor did it increase? Well, let's do 120 over 100, and it increased by a factor of 1.2, right? In other words, 20%. So I'm basically doing the same thing. That sun that's a thousand times brighter than our sun had a started started out with a value of four times ten to the twenty nine. Then if it goes supernova, it then became five times ten to the thirty seven. So if I do the division here, I essentially find the factor by which it increases, just like I did up here. All right. So when I do this now division, let's do it on the uh, actually let me label this a. All right, and let's do it on the calculator. So five times 10 to the 37 divided by 4 times 10 to the 29th. And we get a value of <clears throat> 1.25 or so. And we probably should be using one significant figure because all of these values had one significant figure. So let me just do that. Um, so this would then be a have a value of 1 times 10. My calculator did not put in scientific, so let me just count. Let me just count. Just give me two seconds. So it's 3, 6, 7, 8. All right, so it's one times 10 to the eight and no units uh, because when you take watt and divide it by watt, they both cancel. But this would be the factor, all right, that it would increase by, um, what is that, about 120, yeah, it's about 125 million uh, times, all right? So that takes care of letter A. Let's take a look now at letter B. All right, so it says how many times, okay, how many times brighter then our entire Milky Way galaxy is the supernova. So basically now we're just trying to compare the brightness of the supernova to the brightness of the Milky Way galaxy. All right. So in order to, uh, in order, to, in or, excuse me, <laughs> in order to do something like this, right, we're essentially doing the same process. We're trying to find out how many times brighter the supernova is when compared to the Milky Way. Therefore, it's going to be the supernova's value over the Milky Way. Okay, same thing like I did for letter A. So let's take the value of the supernova, which was five, uh, five times 10 to the 37th, sorry, times 10 to the 37th, and divide that then by 10 to the 37th. And notice they'll both cancel, right? And this leaves us with a factor of five, okay? So basically, um, so ba right. So basically, that's how many times brighter a supernova is than the entire Milky Way galaxy. It's going to be about five times brighter. 
All right. And now let's take a look at letter C. So what's C asking? It says, based on your answer, discuss whether it should be possible to observe supernovas in distant galaxies. Note that there are on the order of 10 to the 11 observable galaxies, the average brightness of which is somewhat less than our own. So uh, basically it should, right? We should be able to um, observe these supernovas because the brightness of a supernova is five times that of the galaxy overall, right? So if, if we're observing a certain brightness of a galaxy, and let's say it has a certain baseline brightness value, and then all of a sudden it increases by about five times. Well, guess what? We might be able to right, make an inductive conclusion that it's probably a result of a supernova. All right, so uh, letter C should be based on your, yeah, it should be possible. All right, for the reasons I discussed. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, and I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.